Arjun isn't selling much tea these days, but he expects his fortunes to turn. All thanks to the planned expansion of the National Highway 76 that runs past his stall. If the road widens, more people will come. There will be more people. Here in Udaipur, in the state of Rajasthan, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated 870 kilometers of national highways. Another 500 kilometers are planned. That's a little more than $4 billion of infrastructure projects for just one state. During the election campaign, Narendra Modi promised 10 million new jobs. And this mega project looks partly to deliver on that. Rajasthan has never got so much for road networks. Right now, it's reported to be about $4 billion. Post the announcement, it will go up to $6 billion. Lack of private sector investment in infrastructure is a big gap in the economy. And many of India's construction companies are unable to invest in these new projects. That's because they already owe huge sums to banks, which has almost killed credit growth. The Indian economy needs at least a growth rate of 20% and above of growth of bank credit to be regularly purring along. But at 3%, 4%, that's pretty weak. Modi captured people's imagination with his campaign slogan, Good Days to Come. In the three years since, growth has been slow coming. But it's hoped that it can arrive quicker on roads like these. Ishan Russell, TRT World, Udaipur. Next up, a potentially electrifying deal for investors. The government of India wants to sell shares in the country's biggest power producer, the National Thermal Power Corporation. As much as 10% of the utility company's shares will be sold and could bring in more than $2 billion. The government wants to raise about $11 billion by selling a portion of its stakes in state-owned companies. This money is expected to help fund spending on new infrastructure and other development schemes. Rebecca Bundan has been following the story and joins us live from Mumbai. Rebecca, targets for disinvestment from public sector companies have not been met in the last few years. What's the guarantee that this time will be any different? Well, there is absolutely no guarantee, but I think what we're seeing here is a very clear intent on the part of the government. It's really eager to raise this money via stake sales of public companies by state-owned companies. And the NTPC example is a clear instance of this, where it's trying to raise, uh, where it's trying to sell off up to 10%. And what we're seeing so far is the response from investors has been very positive indeed. And that's going to be taken as a good sign. Now, the target to disinvest sits at $11.4 billion. Governments raised in the region of less than $2 billion. Can this target be reached by March of next year, or is that just a pipe dream? It's certainly a very, very ambitious target, and a lot of analysts are expressing skepticism about whether the government can really achieve that figure. If we look at the example last year, the government actually ended up lowering its targets from disinvestment, and if the, the amount that it eventually raised was substantially less than it is trying to raise in this current financial year. So analysts are saying that, are questioning whether it really can raise a target. But certainly the government is striving to do its best to do that. And a lot of it ultimately depends on market conditions. Has government given any indication on what it intends doing with this money? The government has a range of projects and initiatives. Uh, there's a lot planned in terms of infrastructure development, and the government has a lot of uh, initiatives that are aimed at improving the lives of its population. For example, uh, Digital India, Skill India, and in terms of just basic infrastructure, such as improving railways, airports, roads, all of those things are things that the government wants to spend money on. And in addition to this, of course, there are, there are the ongoing plans to improve education and health care in the country. So all of these are things that the government will want money for. And that's, yeah, that, that is one of the reasons it's really targeting these stake sales to try and raise those much needed funds. 
Now, India planning on spending a trillion dollar on those infrastructure projects that you've pointed out. How are those plans moving along? I think that the, the response really is that um, people do not think that these plans are moving as quickly as they might have hoped. The government certainly has these ambitious plans to invest in infrastructure and raise investment to be spent on improving the, the country's infrastructure, which really is much needed, better roads, better transport, uh, be railways, airport facilities, ports and so on. But I think that there's a lot of hur there are a lot of hurdles that our investors are, are citing, the bureaucracy, red tape, land issues, and these are holding projects up. Although having said that, the government really, really does have a lot of ambitious projects in the pipeline, and some of these are moving forward, especially in terms of transport and energy. A lot is being done. Well, that was Rebecca Bundan speaking to us from Mumbai.